welcome to the hydraulic press channel. Today we are going to show how you can pack your suitcase with hydraulic press. So all this and much more hopefully are going to go inside of this small bag. And the method that we are going to use is very simple. You take something, put it here, turn it into rock, put it here, profit. <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure how it's going to unfold at the destination. But you can worry that later. And now it's a great time to test hack like this because next week we are going to take a trip to factory where our new 300 ton hydraulic press should be ready. And we are going to film first video with the press at the factory. So that's going to happen here next Saturday. Don't miss that. And of course after that everything is going to be much much better with the new press. Can't wait to see that, but first I have to pack my luggage, so let's go. Okay, this is going to be like factory line. This is going to be here, like this. And then we are going to uh, operate here. This is going to take for a while. Okay, let's start with the hat. Yep. In goes the hat. I think this is going to work. Let's let's try with the jacket next. Okay, this is quite quite. <laughs> okay, I think Hanna needs to pre-fold this. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say that the jacket might be slightly hard because it's so large. We would need bigger tool, but the shirts are going to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> this is old jacket here. I think it's going to be pretty straightforward to unfold this at your hotel. Just quick ironing and it's brand new. <laughs> I think we don't have enough clothes. Mm. Check how good is that. Yeah, I think we are going to fast forward slightly. This is going to take some time. Unfortunately, the hydraulic press doesn't solve the problem that you still need your girl to uh, fold the laundry or at least I couldn't be able to fit the, <laughs> fit the clothes inside of the tool. Uh, Hanna, can you comment how hard it was to like fold the clothes to the tool? Yeah, it wasn't uh, that hard, but you need patience for that. So that's not something Lauri is good at. <laughs> yeah, I'm better on just crushing shit. But uh, the clothes, they really went to like into small packets. You can see here how the like um, luggage thing fills up, but the pile disappears even faster. Yeah, it's carry on back, no luggage thing. Yeah, it thinks that holds luggage, so I can call it a luggage thing. And we had also some like harder things as you see on the table. So after we got the shirts done, we decided to start to try with those. And they were also surprisingly easy. The <laughs> flashlight, it just disappeared. <laughs> Not sure how easy that is to unfold. Then we had some, uh, that's like whiskey bottle thing. It might or might not have the bottle inside. I'm not sure how well it works. Here went the uh, alarm clock, flashlight. No, alarm clock and the uh, hair thing. Hair dryer. Hair dryer. So you can package everything, including your wife's stuff. And the whole packaging thing took about half an hour. Yeah, we definitely need the new press. This one is leaking quite a lot, but don't worry. When the new press arrives, we are going to service the old one. We are not going to get rid of this. This is part of history and important, important thing to have like couple presses. Because why not? <laughs> this has all the candy inside and everything. <laughs> the package even didn't break. This is just great. Should, uh, now we have packed 
everything that we had on the table. I think it's time to have like check how it feels and how heavy it is. Mm -hmm. Hey, check out this. It just fits there. Uh, we have still some extra clothes. We were going to buy these from flea market, but Timo was just throwing off like old shirts that he cleaned from the from his closet or whatever. So we had like a lot of secondhand clothes. So I think we should test how heavy it's going to be when it's completely full of shirts and stuff. So we are going to keep crushing still for a while. I had to do this round without Hanna, so I decided that we have enough shirts. I tried a couple different clothes, but found those difficult. So I decided to add a bit more some snacks, got to have some calories while traveling. These didn't compress too much. They are already quite dense, but then I realized we don't have any socks. And these worked really well. You can fit so many socks in really small packets with this method. That was some socks and a bit more snacks. And with the socks, definitely take the packaging out. Works much better like this. And now this is pretty full. You can still add some like small stuff here, but like, <laughs> what we should call these cloth capsules. Those are now full and there is the snack capsule, candy capsule, and then some electronic devices, works for everything. Okay, it's done. It weighs about 12 kilos or this many freedom units. And 12 kilos isn't crazy, but it definitely feels like it has something else than clothes inside. But ta-da! <laughs> Most of the stuff is just clothes. So in overall, we finally were able to do something useful. <laughs> if, if you can open these. And if we would have like uh, more clean press tools. So, uh, kind of, not exactly. But hey, be sure to watch the next week's videos. Then we have twice the power, twice the fun. And we are going to have also twice the danger or even more. Because I am also building concrete bunker around the press for the new press. It's going to be four meters by four meters in like area. So decent room to film. And it's going to be 100 millimeters thick steel reinforced concrete. So it's bulletproof. So now we don't have to hold any more back when I get scared. So no more chickening out from good explosions. So be sure to subscribe the channel to see all the upgrades during this month. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.